This series of videos tells a bit about Clash. If I go to the timeline view, a bit more sophisticated, you've got something you can create edit points on the left. If you do that, you see it split the photo into two. And if I want to, I can just take the left half of that and drop it in the recycle bin just to delete it. At the moment, there's just a cut, but if I click on there, I get a dissolve. All the dissolves are rendered in real time, so you don't have to wait for the server. You see there's a dissolve. Just like with a lot of these buttons, if you do a long press, just by holding the button down, you get an option with more features. That's a circle wipe. Because the effects are rendered in real time, you don't have to wait for them. Uh, dissolve is more common, so I will go back to that. You can also trim the effects. You just grab the edit point and just move it with your fingers. Again, you don't have to wait. So I'll just go through. There's a slower dissolve. If you want to make the end longer, just drag it with your finger. You can see that there's no out point, so it's black on the right hand side, but the left side is the tree. You see where the frame ends. Similarly, if I'm on the left hand side, I can trim that. On the title track, I just tap on it to type in a title. You can see the title here. And if I want more detail, again, I do a long press. And it gives me some options. I'll go to the background, make it a bit more transparent. Might change the foreground colour to be a bit more green as it's trees. Make it a little bit bigger because the screen's quite small here. And of course I can trim the title track as well. That's my little video. To save it, it's a drag and drop interface. Drag it into the files window. You can either drop it onto the button or I can open the files window and drop it into the window. You can see it's there. You get a chance to give it a new name if you want. The long press gives you a menu and you see it's got previous versions. So I want to download it onto the phone. I can drop it onto the download to phone button. See it's queued there. That will then compress, and when it's finished compressing, it will automatically download it to the phone. Now it's downloading it, now it's downloaded it, and click on there. This video is also in my gallery, and there's my video. If you want to change the resolution, you just do a long press on the publishing. It opens up a web page, this is set to 720p, you can have any size you like. Choice of data rates, audio data rates. So that is the screen layout.